Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Melissa and I am a licensed esthetician in New York and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about some of the starter products that you're going to be needing if you're looking into opening your own salon studio, studio, spa, whatever it is. These are just like the beginning must-have products that you're going to need to buy. So. I have a list here because of course when I was buying everything I had a list my teacher was actually kind enough to tell us what products we what things we're gonna need to buy how much money we should have saved up for it you know like all that good stuff so I figured why not pass along the information to you guys so if you're interested in things like this or videos like this please feel free to stay tuned and continue watching okay so I'm gonna try to make this video as quick and simple as possible so the first thing you're going to want to have is a massage table. Almost everything that I have in my spa studio is from Amazon. You want a massage table that's going to be able to hold a certain amount of pounds. So you want to have the most pounds that it can withhold. Um, my massage table, uh, it was gifted to me for my mom for my birthday. And it was from Amazon. And it holds, I think, up to 400 pounds. I'm not sure I think it's made out of aluminum it has cables underneath it and everything so it's super helpful with that I don't have to worry about you know someone breaking it or anything like that you're going to need a towel warmer the towel warmer that I have is also from Amazon but yeah you need a towel warmer so that you can actually use warm towels on your clients it's very soothing it's relaxing they're gonna love it the one that I have has a UV light in it so it also disinfects at the same time a steamer yes a steamer when I was in school we did not use a steamer because of COVID so you know we we did not experience the use of a steamer and so I had to learn on my own in my own studio and that was interesting because the whole time in school was you know doing extractions without using a steamer the steamer actually helps to open up the pores loosen the, the dirt and debris and make the skin soft so that you can actually do extractions without going too hard on the extractions back bar products yes um back bar products are basically the products that you're going to be using on your clients uh for their facials or whatever procedure that you're going to be doing to them you need product so you want to have professional grade products to use on your clients um not retail because that will go like that um, and you need things that are going to last a longer time for more clients you need to know like what products are good what products you're comfortable working with what products you believe in um, for me I personally I like the products from my school which was botanical science I wanted to try something else and I felt like skin script was the product for me it's fruity it uses all fruits inside their stuff and it smells so good and it's just super cute to even look at so I felt like skin script would have been a great fit for me and my spa studio for now uh, i do intend on using other back bar products but for now skin script is it for me there's other brands that you can use you can use glymed you can use um image you can use uh face reality you can use a ton of the, just do your research and decide what product you want to use for your back bar magnifying lamp is going to make your life so easy in finding all of the blackheads all of the whiteheads is just going to make your life so much easier um i got the one that is separate from like the other machine it, it, it's kind of like a clamp and it clamps onto the table that you're using for your back bar products um yeah so i got that oh that's also another thing you're going to need is a little trolley i got two i got one for waxing and eyebrows and another for all of my back bar products and all of the items that i need for a facial procedure um yeah so you're gonna need trolleys i got two they're both from amazon they were about 40 something dollars each i believe you're going to need disinfectant and laundry detergent disinfectant to clean and sanitize your your room everything high touch areas you're gonna need you're gonna need barbicide you're gonna need cavicide or you're gonna need any other type of disinfectant that you're comfortable using but definitely barbicide for all of your implements and tools that you use for your facials and waxing you're going to need laundry detergent for your linens cannot stress that enough you're gonna need laundry detergent and bleach for your linens and your towels yes 
oh and also you know if you want to use it for your scrubs or whatever uniform you're using for your spa studio definitely um you're gonna need that buy some towels apparently you need a lot of towels i have a ton of towels just for cleaning around the spa studio and then i have face towels that i use only for my clients and you know their facials a laundry bin of course you're gonna need a laundry bin because if you have several clients throughout the day you're gonna want to just toss the dirty linen inside that laundry bin that way you know you can put a fresh batch of linens on the table and then do all of the laundry bulk at the end of the day linens <laughs> i should have started with that right you're gonna need linen you're gonna need um a flat sheet a ton of flat sheets i, ha I bought a pack of six from amazon and it seems to be enough for now uh, and also you need a fitted sheet I just use six you know I interchange them between clients um, I have a, the fitted sheets the flat sheets I have a heating pad for the table to keep the table warm I also have um, a throw blanket on top. I have a ton of other throw blankets just for decorative looks, you know, for the aesthetic of the spa studio, but I don't leave that for my clients. So you don't need it, like you don't need it, but it's nice to come into a spa that looks like it's well put together. Plastic bags, yes. You're gonna need it for your trash bins. You're gonna need it for your linens. You're gonna need it for your laundry. Uh, yeah, laundry. You know, I line my laundry bin with a plastic bag because it's just easier for me. I'm not going to go crazy looking for a linen bag or whatever. Um, plastic bags is a must-have. Sponges to clean your implements. I forgot to put that on the list. I'm going through it as I'm thinking about it. Uh, you're going to need sponges so that you can clean your implements properly. Really scrub your microdermabrasion tips. You want to really scrub. I also have a toothbrush for my microderm tips. That way I can really get into the nooks of it. Um, yeah, you want to make sure that you have all that stuff on hand. I didn't know that you needed a toothbrush for <laughs> for things, but then I remembered in school we had a toothbrush and a sponge. So I was like, yeah, I need that. But you know, you don't think about that when you're graduating and you're doing all your stuff until you're actually in it. A wax warmer. The wax warmer I got is from Amazon as well. It is a dual wax warmer. It has two sides. Uh, you can put hard wax in it, you can put soft wax in it, you can put whatever wax you want to put in. It's super convenient, I love it. Applicators, fan brushes, bowls, all that good stuff. These are the tongue depressors. You're going to need the popsicle sticks, which are the smaller ones. Oh, look at that. That's wonderful. I'm going to throw it out. But these here, the smaller ones. And then you can also, this wasn't required, but I got these smaller ones. I don't know what to call them. But these are perfect for eyebrows and really getting closer to the eyebrow without, you know, using this big ass stick for it. We studied, we practiced with these um, and it was annoying, I feel. But these are very, very precise and I love it because it has two sides. One side is more pointed and the other side is a slant. So I use a lot of the slant and the pointed for the arch. Perfect. You're going to need those. I also have spoolies and I also have um, like the gloss applicator because I use that for applying the lip serum at the end of a facial service. A first aid kit is a must have. You have to have a first aid kit. I have one right underneath my wax trolley. It's there just in case I need it. It has all the things I need. I also got it from Amazon. I believe it was like 20 something dollars, almost 30, I believe. Don't quote me though. Just in case one, your client gets nicked or anything like that or hurt or you yourself get hurt you have a first aid kit on hand a document holder you need a document holder for all of your business documents and paperwork important paperwork that you want to have stored as well as all of your client consultation forms the consent forms everything all the waivers you want to have on hand you want to make sure you print them out beforehand a ton of them or if not you can use jotform.com i use them i started with paper and went on to jotform and i love it um, you can always send those to your clients before their appointment. That way you can, you know, once they fill it out, it gets sent back to you and you can review it before they're in your spa. That way you know what to look forward to and how to prep for the service. A binder with all of your 
um, disinfectant information for the MSDS or the material safety data sheet. That is so important just in case you get inspected by New York State or whatever state that you're in. You need to have that documentation ready and prepared. So yes, you need modalities. You don't need it, but if you want to offer modalities to your clients, you can definitely do that. Um, I have a few of them right now. I'm going to offer more soon. The first one I have is the LED light therapy. I have that. And I also have my high frequency wand and my microdermabrasion machine. And you need a broom or a mop. <laughs> yeah, you gotta clean your own spot studio. You are everything, so you do everything. Garbage bin. I got a big one. You know, I'd rather just have one big one and throw it all out at the end of the day. You also need gloves. Of course you need gloves um, I, I added lancets to my list of things that I needed when I first started purchasing things because I know that some people um, have uh, whiteheads and those are under the skin and you cannot press them out with your fingers so lancets are really good to use a merchant service I personally use square I have my own little square um, swipe right here I have my tablet this tablet is used for all of the documents for them to sign but I have a square for my merchant services and I also use timely as my um, merchant service as well so I use both of them and I love them both but you do want to research um, products and merchant services that you're interested in so if you're interested in more videos like these where I go into detail about every little item that you're going to need for a certain service please let me know in the comments box below I look forward to making more videos like these I love videos like these I live for them and yeah that'll be all for this video I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next one bye